Hey guys, back with more COL and today I'm going to be showing you guys full Chimeria, Heroic, Team Guide, both bosses. So let's start with the first boss, Noctidius. I already made a video on it, uh, but let's go through this again. So first of all, you will have one main tank, one secondary tank, uh, and you will always make sure the team is moving at all times. He does ground puncture twice, and after ground puncture, uh, he's going to make the tank get a debuff so the other tank has to take it or the main tank will get one shot and then you keep doing what you do you keep moving dodging the red circles when the tank gets a blue circle make sure there's two people standing on it with the tank most uh, the best will be a secondary tank with him then he continues with the ground puncture and after that he's gonna follow up with three crystals that unleashes three orbs which give buffs make sure all these orbs be are grabbed uh, or he will keep doing the AoE Right after the orbs are grabbed, the adds will come from the entrance, make sure the adds get killed. And then after the adds, he's gonna spawn an Inferno Crystal, looks like a Melon Crystal. Two people have to stand close to it, if it's uh, under 20 man raid, if it's 20 people, then 3 people have to stand next to the crystal, or the crystal will do AoE damage. It will spawn 2 crystals, and make sure you keep dodging his red AoE during these crystals. Once that's uh, done, he's gonna follow up with the, something called Raw Claw. So everyone should get together and stay away from the boss. Raw Claw is like uh, a stun, uh, or he grabs someone so so they can't move um, un until you kill them. And then he follow ups with the huge AOE to so make sure the healers or you save your pots for that phase. Uh, and then he keeps uh, going with the Inferno Crystal uh, two times or once depending on your DPS and you always remember guys on this boss it's very important that everyone keeps moving the ground punctures just keep coming and then he does Starblade puncture which is every second he does that in the end and Starblade puncture it does never stop so you always have to keep moving this dungeon don't cast spells that take a long time to cast and then stay near the crystal assign people to stay near the crystal grab the orbs kill the adds and uh, and then just keep moving guys that's my best advice for this boss is just keep moving uh, and uh, the then the raid is done make sure that when the blue is come so a good thing to remember in these raids are that red you always avoid and then blue you get together mostly in all raids when you see a blue circle with it, more people have to stand in it to split the damage and then you just keep moving and you just finish off the boss it's a very uh, easy tactic it needs a little bit of coordination uh, but it's fully possible. I would suggest uh, two healers in the squad and uh, two tanks. You can do it with one tank and a warrior just using chain uh, so the tank doesn't get the debuff. But it's just easy with two tanks if one tanks one tank end up dying. Now let's look at the second boss, Chris Dragos, the last boss. Now here, first of all, I'm going to show you guys under 20 man squad first. Then I will show you guys a video of the 20 man squad. So the raid goes like this, you, the tank, there's two tanks, the tank takes the aggro against the wall, you dodge the ice breath, then he follow ups with the usual tornadoes, and but these tornadoes follow you, okay? So when these tornadoes follow you, you have to keep running, and uh, all the range DPS to keep running. Then he does something called quick freezing. When he does quick freezing, the tank loses aggro and gets a debuff, so the other tank has to take aggro. And then he follows up with his dust-like smash, which is a huge AoE, so get together with the healers. And after this, he's gonna spawn adds Phantom Guard. Make sure everyone goes to, kill, to start killing those adds together. Uh, if you don't kill the adds, they will do huge AoE and kill everyone. So make sure the adds die, they come from the entrance. Then he will keep doing the same phase, Ice Breath. He will do Quick Freezing again on the tank. Look, I had the vulnerably, Vulnerable debuff. So then the other tank has to take the aggro. He follows up with the AoE and then He's going to pop a message over the person he's going to kick in the air. Or he's going to target after kicking everyone in the air. So I'm being targeted. So I will get the shields from the healers. He will kick me in the air. And then he will charge me. I have to have full HP and shields or I will die. And then you follow up. This is the first phase basically guys. And so he will follow up with his icy breath after he lands. And then you go back to tanking it. So cyclones come. Cyclones will follow you all the way. So make sure you move with your group. It continues to quick freezing. I lose aggro. I get debuff. Secondary. Uh, the other tank has to take aggro. And then once you get to 50%, he's gonna do this phase. He's gonna freeze everyone. Now it gets really tricky. 
right after this, everyone has to move in the middle. He's going to do something called Ice Grace. Again, I told you guys about blue. When you have blue circles, everyone has to stack up together. Alright? And then after that, he's going to do Shadow Cleft, cleft I think. And he's going to pop message over people's heads. Those people will get six hands coming up from the ground. So move away from the group. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six hands. Then blue circles again, everyone has to gather together uh, and take the hit. Then he's gonna follow up with Twilight Fall, that's when he flies up to throw someone down in the ground. Uh, so make sure that person moves away from the boss. Right after this, Tank has to grab aggro again and everyone has to move under the boss because he does a hurricane, like Ancestral Altar, people have to gather on the boss or you will die. He also does something called a Seed. He tro and, uh, first of all, he does Shadow Storm. So you have to move as a big AOE. It stays there so you can't walk into there again. But it's something called a seed under on top of someone. If they're not if they're not away from everyone, they will die. He does a huge hand and just grabs them and they die. That's basically uh, this boss for the 20 man raid is mostly the same, but there's more adds. There's more people getting the debuffs. I um, uh, I mean there's more people getting the ice grays blue, the four people instead of two, and uh, there's more people getting that hand debuff that comes from the ground, so it, it requires some coordination. Uh, and we got the first skill for the boss uh, under 20 man and 20 man raid. After this, 20 I'm showing you guys the 20 man raid, so enjoy that. I hope this is helpful, guys. Good luck on your raid. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.